Hey ladies, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another gray wig um, in my search for gray wigs or color wigs. And this wig here, I ended up seeing the color and I just didn't know what the color was, but I knew it was something gray, so I said, let me order it. The um, wig that we have is going to be the Natural Yaki 24, but the th the reason I wa wanted to get this wig, excuse me, I'm not sure why I'm so tongue-tied. The reason I wanted to get this wig is because I wanted to see what this color was, S gr um and so this is the wig this is the color um and it's an l part wig and it is safe up to 400 degrees and it comes in a bunch of different colors but this color here is really different and interesting and i just didn't know what color it was and like i said i wanted to try it so i saw a model on ig or i saw a picture posted on ig of a girl with a gray wig on now i'm sure her wig might have been a human hair but i wanted to use this as a dupe now i think hers is a little bit darker if i remember hers is more gray maybe like this kind of gray versus this is a more of a white gray but i still think we can work with it and i think we can do something with this part now let's go through the wig um, cap construction looks like it's hard lace around ear to ear hard lace and then you get three combs you get a comb on this side that side which is left and i mean right and left and you get a comb right here and i'm guessing this will stop it from sliding you get a comb in the back and you do get adjustable straps and i will say i like that the cap construction is not black that the cap construction is a different construction um different color because um that hopefully you won't be able to see the um tracks or anything in between there and it looks like the hair is really really thick so I like that. So let me get this one off and put this on and let's get it popping, girl. Okay, so this is the hairline. Um, just if you didn't do any manipulation to it and you just pulled it back, it fits my hairline pretty snug. And with it being a dark ombre at the base you may be able to take some of your edges out now this is where the part is supposed to be but as you can see you can't see the part if you were going to pull it up in a ponytail i guess that would be okay to not see it but then you got more black here than you would anywhere else unless you added black so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clean the part out and um, i'm going to see how that looks so i just wanted to let you see it all up like this and yeah, it gives you that, you know, not so good hairline. But if you have edges, you could take your edges out and you could mess around with that. So that's the front of it. I want to get up, let you see that. And then this is it up from the back. So let's work on this part and let's get it looking a little bit better than it looks now. Okay, so to save time, I pretty much cleaned that part up off camera. And as you can see, now you can see the part. So I'm gonna take advantage of this dark um, edges or this ombre at the base. And I'm gonna pull out a little bit of my edges. Of course, I hope your edges look a lot better than mine does. But right now, they don't look so great. But I am going to straighten them. I think I'm gonna put the hot comb on it and just go through and just straighten them out just a little bit with that and my flat iron and probably a little bit of coconut oil. Um, take that and just brush it back. You won't be able to see it, but it just at least will save you know around my hairline for when the wind blows um, back or something like that so now we're gonna work on the front of this actually this front is really good it's not too too bad so I didn't have to do much I just took some Evelyn New York and worked on my edges I took some of the gray hair and I took that and um, I blended that in with my edges and pushed it back now um, I did go in with the um, hot comb but the hot comb of course is a little bit um, too hot so just be careful with that all I did was just really touch the front of it to get that kink out it was a little bit of a kink in the front and then like I said I used the back end of it um, to um, just kind of lay down the roots a little bit just to make it nice and flat I just love how flat it gets it so this this um, hair came with a bend in it so I wanted mine to mimic the model just a little bit. I wanted it to be straight. So I went in and I kind of took the bend out and that's what I'm doing here, using a little bit of spray and just kind of going in and just running um, the flat iron through the hair. I love the shine on this and everything. With it being gray, it does kind of shed a little bit. So you do get shedding. So if you wear something black, you will have to be mindful of that. Um, just watch me finish up doing this and I'll come back to you at the end give you my final thoughts on this Yaki 24.
Okay, so this is the finished look for um, this color, SGR. And I really like the color. I Like I said, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I got this color because I saw a girl on IG that ended up having like this gray hair and it was straight and it was really pretty. And I think hers was a human hair wig, but I wanted to see if I could mimic that. Now, before I get into my cons on this hair, because I do have some cons, let me give you ladies a 360. This is all the hair to the front and it is a natural density, so I do like that. And um, here is this side, be able to see it. It's just straight and the back, I hope you can't see through it. I don't know because I haven't really put a mirror to see if you can see through it or not. It moves very well. And then here is this side. And so what I like about the hair is that it is pretty long. The longest tip comes about an inch or so above my um, my waistline. So um, let's get into some pros and some cons. Cons of this color is that you do get shedding. And I put this black shirt on because I wanted to see how bad it was going to shed so you guys could see that. But you get like some straggly pieces every now and then that sheds from the bottom of the wig. And of course, I'm not getting them now, but um, it is a couple pieces that strap that, you know, kind of do that. So I want to let you know. So if you do wear black with this, you're going to have to be careful if you wear this hair with um, a black outfit or something like that. I think it looks really cute, but just know that you may have to, you know, try to tame it or sometimes I find with my blondes. If I put some spray on it and I just go through it with the blow dryer or the flat iron with the spray after I spray it and go through it, that it kind of keeps the frizz away. With it being synthetic, I know it's hard to do that or whatever, but I do find that does help. And, and also another thing that helps is to not use the like stick combs and to use more of like a regular brush. I find that the brush, it tends to help to tame the um frizzy pieces more than that comb the comb brush or the denim brush or any of those so that's just a little tip so i will say that that um was my one con the other con was the parting area of course um i had to go in and i had to pluck it i only plucked about that much of it there's tracks on both sides you hit those pretty quick so i couldn't like um pluck too too much so i just plucked literally right up in the front of it and then the rest of it, I just took, um, sprayed it with some of my got to be glue spray. And I just used my, um, I'm sorry. And I used my straightening comb, the back end of it, because it's a little too hot to be putting on this hair. And I just used that to kind of, um, lay it down flat. As far as the edges are concerned, um, Okay, so this is the final look for this hair. And I think it's a good duke for the young lady's hair that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. Um, I like her hair. I liked it the color. And I think if you don't want to have to worry about dyeing bundles or if you don't want to spend the cost on getting someone else to do that or buying a wig um, at a higher value, that this may be an option for you. I think it's really, really cute. So let me give you ladies a 360. This is the front of it. And as you can see, the front comes with this layer right here it well it did have a slight bend in it but i went through and took that bend out because i just wanted it to be straight so you get like a layer here and here then you get a layer here and then you get it goes into the longest layer which is i'm getting which is the 24 inches um i do like how it does that in the front it does the same thing on the other side you get a layer here here you know and goes on down this is the back of the hair i'm sorry this is the side of the hair this is the back of the hair and i don't think you can see through it i need to get my mirror to see if you can see through it and then this is the side this side and this just comes straight so let's get into pros and cons i put this black shirt on so that you guys can see that um it does shed a little bit i'm not getting it now but it did shed a little bit so you just do need to be mindful if you decide to wear this grayish white hair with um a black top or a real dark top you might get some shedding i'm not really sure but looks like it was shedding some so it may be on your clothes that's just a little bit of a con another con that i have with it probably would be the hit um would be the parting area 
the parting area came super duper close so i had to go in and kind of pluck it i only plucked like what maybe an inch or so not too too much i just plucked it right up in here because on both sides of the parting area you do get um the tracks right away so you got to be careful good thing is you do have an ombre up there so the tracks are hid because they're black but you know you still don't want your tracks showing so i did that as far as the edges i just sat it slightly i pulled a little bit of my edges out you wouldn't have to because it does come pretty tight or it sat pretty tight on my hairline so i wouldn't have had to i just did it to see how it would look since they did have the black all the way around and i always think like okay if i run my hands through my hair or um if i decide to just pull it back or something you know and or the wind blows it you could just see the black you don't have to do that you can just you know put it on you don't have to pull any hair out i just decided to do it like that so other than that i don't have any other cons besides the parting area and um that it does share somewhat i think it's a nice dupe for the young lady's hair i think that you know hers are a little bit darker i think the gray looks a little bit darker but other than that if you were looking for just a gray straight unit that gives you that whitish grayish look um almost kind of i don't know storm vibes if you're looking for something like that i think this is a great find for it it's not too expensive you don't have to get bundles and dye them you don't have to spend a lot of money on the wig obviously it's not something you may wear every day depending on your profession like myself so it feels good to just be able to go out find a wig pop it on and wear it and look nice for the night or for the weekend so if you ladies are interested in um getting miss yaki 24 in this color then i would say i will leave all the information in the description box below i think it's a great find so go ahead on and pick it up before it's probably not available anymore at least in this color um if you have not yet subscribed to the channel and if you decide to share this video or any of my videos don't forget to tag me in it my name is beauty by mark i will see you in my next video bye